Uh, where am I? Why did I have to run away from home? This is stupid. Oh, great, just my luck. Of course it's going to rain all over me. Ugh, I hate this. It's too bad. With all my magical powers, I can't even control the weather. Oh, what's that over there? Looks like a place where I could stay. At least, until the rain stops. Oh my god. It didn't look like it from far away, but this place... It's huge! Does someone live in this mansion? The door's wide open. Oh, young master. There you are. What? What are you talking about? How many times have I told you not to sneak away from me? How am I supposed to protect you when you go running off like that? Uh, I think you're mistaking me with someone else. Now, now, master. No need to lie. It's quite unfitting for a young noble such as yourself. Young noble? What? I'm nowhere near noble, or I'm not young either. I, well, I don't even know who you are. Ah, uh, yes. You ruined your clothes and now you look like a commoner. A commoner? How dare you call me a commoner? Honestly, I don't understand why you feel the need to dirty your clothes. I go through so much just to dress you up properly. What are you talking about? No, you don't. No one dresses me. Ah, oh, never mind. What's the point of arguing? You're clearly crazy. I'm out of here. I'd rather get drenched in the rain than stay with some crazy butler. Oh, I see. Then it cannot be helped then. I shall have to take you into your room by force. By force? What? No, you better not lay a finger on me or else... Or else, um... I, uh... Apologize ahead of time for any discomfort, but do know that I'm only doing this for your own good. What are you doing? No, get away from me! Ah! Oh, young master, you always did look like a baby when you're unconscious. Uh, uh, up we go. Oh, it looks like I'm going to have to bathe you again. What a bother. Uh, uh, oh God, my head hurts. Uh, God, am I still in this weird mansion? Oh, it's quite a nice room, though. Wait a minute. What am I wearing? Oh my God, I look ridiculous. Well, actually, hmm, it's not that bad, except my thighs are showing, these shorts are too small, and these boots, they're too long, but I kind of, I quite like how I look. Uh, but first things first, what am I even doing here, and why did that weird butler treat me like I was his master? I've never been here before. Is that who I think it is? What's he doing here? Why is there a painting of him? It does not make any sense. <sighs> well, at least I look good. Where are my old clothes? I suppose he tossed them. Since apparently I looked like a commoner. How dare that man? Where is he anyway? Hello? Hello? Mr. Butler? <sighs> I wonder what time it is. 
Is there a clock anywhere? Anywhere? What kind of bedroom has no alarm clock or something? How do I... What's around here? Oh, no. No. It's already night time. But how? How long have I been here? Um, where is everybody? Oh my god, it's already late. Uh, what's going on here? Ah, oh, my lord. I see you've awakened. Would you like me to bring you some tea? Ah, uh, it's you! You did this to me! Why? Why did you bring me to this place? Or... Why'd you take me in? Huh? Whatever do you mean, sir? You live here, of course. You're the head of the Phantom Hive Manor. Or have you forgotten that already? Phantom Hive Manor? I've never even heard of this place. Oh dear. It seems you've been afflicted with a mild case of amnesia. Whatever shall I do with you? Amnesia? No, I'm pretty sure I don't have amnesia. I remember everything perfectly. Oh, is that so? Then do tell me, what is my name? What? Your name? That's not fair. How am I supposed to know your name when I've never even met you? Oh, it's worse than I imagined. You don't even remember your most humble servant's name? Oh, don't you worry, my lord. I shall head into the library right away. I'm sure we have a book on amnesia somewhere. What? No! No, you don't understand! I'm not your master! I don't want to hear it. I think you should head off to bed now. Perhaps a good night's sleep will help you bring your memories back. No, really. I... I don't think I should be here. Not another word from you. You cannot take my only reason for living away from me. Um, your only reason for living? Aren't you being a little dramatic? No, my lord. I live only to serve you. Uh... Okay. Whether you like it or not, you're stuck with me. Okay, okay, I get it. Just stop staring at me. Ah, uh, I'm just going to bed now then. God. Uh, I guess this isn't so bad. I mean, I have my own butler now. And people would die to have their own butler. But it doesn't make any sense. I wonder who the real head of the Phantom Hive Manor is. It can't be me. Yes, I don't have any family. I think. No, I don't. And whatever family I do have, they aren't rich. Yeah, they're not rich. I just don't know. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, who are you? Oh, oh, oh. Tanaka. Oh, great. Another weirdo butler, I'm assuming. Why does this always have to happen to me? But at least you told me your name. Tanaka. Oh. Oh, oh. oh, hey. Could you tell me what that other butler's name was? Oh, oh, oh. Huh? What was it? Sebastian Michaelis? Why does that name sound so familiar? Oh, wait a minute. It can't be. He's the Black Butler. That means... He's a demon. 
<laughs> Alright guys, so that was the first episode of the Black Butler roleplay. I hope you enjoyed it and let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you want to see more, make sure to let me know and make sure to click the like button and, you know, all that supporty stuff and, you know, um, I say you know a lot, huh? Alright, I guess I shall get going then, since I'm stuck here. <laughs>